Tissue samples obtained from patients for diagnosis are handled and processed by an anatomical pathology laboratory. The samples are first obtained from a patient through a surgical procedure and are placed in a specimen jar containing 10% buffered formalin. The specimen is then transported to the anatomical pathology department for processing. At arrival to the department, the specimen is then registered and entered into the laboratory information system so that the correct patient identification is attached to the received specimen. Depending upon the specimen type, the specimen is then allowed to be fixed in 10% buffered formalin between 5 hours to 24 hours. Smaller pieces of tissue will require less time in fixation compared to larger resection specimens. After fixation, the specimen is ready to be cut and sampled. This stage of macroscopic examination is very important. A laboratory scientific or medical staff will thoroughly examine the specimen macroscopically to identify any abnormality in the tissue. If the tissue sample is small, then generally the entire specimen is submitted for processing and microscopic examination. However, if the specimen is big, then only selected but representative abnormal areas are submitted for processing. After macroscopic examination and sampling of the specimen, the specimen is placed into tissue cassettes and the tissue cassettes are processed in a tissue processor. This step involves several stages of hydration and dehydration using several types of chemicals. The processing time will vary depending upon the types of specimens. Smaller pieces of tissue will require less time, whilst larger pieces of tissue will require a longer cycle. Once the tissue is processed, the tissue will be ready to be embedded, cut and stained. The embedding stage involves removing the processed tissue from the cassette and is placed in hot paraffin wax within a mould. The mould is then placed on an ice plate to cool. Once the hot wax with the tissue within the mould is cooled, the tissue specimen is known as a tissue block and is now ready to be sectioned. Sectioning involves the tissue block to be placed on a microtome and an experienced lab staff will section the tissue block containing the processed tissue in solidified paraffin wax. Tissue sections for light microscopic examination are usually 4 micrometers in thickness. The sections are placed in water bath and are picked up by the lab staff using a plain glass slide. The glass slide is now ready to be stained. The usual stain for light microscopic examination is known as the hematoxylin and eosin stain. This provides the basic morphological examination of the tissue. However, plain sections can also be stained with other special stains, immunohistochemical stains or in situ hybridization testing, depending upon the required microscopic examination. The sections are first placed in an oven to melt the wax around the tissue. And the tissue is then placed into an automated staining machine for approximately 30 minutes for the entire staining process. The stained glass lights are now ready for microscopic examination by the pathologist under a light microscope. 